Hi, right, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to size your roll flex and the rationale behind it. So very quickly, this is your roll flex. This is the adjustment channel system. There are six positions you can place the therapy arm in, one being the closest to the base, six being the furthest away. So for instance, if I'm gonna work my hand, I would keep it at a one. That gives me a lot of compressional space or a, a lot of uh, pressure at a small compression space versus if I do my forearm, I'm gonna to wanna to jump it out to the third spot or so, depending on how big my forearms are. And then notice how that space between the rollers gets much bigger. That gives me a little room for the bones of my forearm, but still gives me the compressive power I need to get the tissue uh, under a lot of pressure so I can remove that tension, right? And then if I'm gonna go around my legs or something a lot bigger, like my uh, upper calf, I might put it out at the sixth position or fifth position, depending. Um, that being said, we have a tool addition, which is the therapy uh, handle extender. This is what we use when we want to go beyond the point that the sixth position can, can handle. So if you have really small hands and you're trying to do your upper thigh, we'll put the extension handle on, which I'll show you in another video, but this is the way that we size the roll flex to help you with 95% of your body. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in another video real soon.